Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello Pisces, this is your Valentine Be Mine reading. And remember now the extended, if you would like to purchase it, will contain the sexual tarot magic deck cards. So don't purchase it if you don't like those kind of beautiful, gorgeous, artistic images. I just saw what was trying to come out was very soon. So <laughs> something's very soon. If you want to purchase extended, click on the link below in the description box. Also in the description box below is my link to follow me on Patreon, where I am doing a bunch of erotic tarot readings there. Not these extendeds. They're just completely separate. Okay, so Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Pisces. And again, I saw it earlier. It said very soon, tried to come out. I saw it and now look, it's like patience. Ooh, that could be like your message, engagement. <laughs> your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Does that look better? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. New love, a new person is stirred your romantic feelings. So, it's someone new. Someone new that you could actually see yourself being serious with, okay? Um, some of you have manifested this, okay, of calling in your soulmate. Some of you are aligning with this new vibration. And the way you align with this is patience. I know, nobody likes to hear that. I'm an aqua. I don't want to hear people be, like, be patient. I'd be like, bitch, shut up. But that's what it is. Okay, so be patient. It's coming very, very, very soon. It's definitely new. I can feel it. Someone new, someone you didn't expect. Now, it doesn't mean this is going to be the one you marry, right? But you're in this energy space of allowing yourself to meet people that you could potentially settle down with. Even your cards, it's like, be patient. It come when it come, honey. Five of Wands. There's a lot of pieces to this. There's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of stuff, and it's all coming together. Judgment, it's all coming together. Judgment can be a final decision. Now it's also about a rebirth here. It's hearing the call. Some of you are hearing the call to relax. There's the sun. Sun is enlightenment, it's truth. It could be Leo energy. But it's about basking in the sun and just sort of like soaking in the present moment. Look at the queen of pentacles. Some of you guys are doing excellent in career. And for those of you that are not doing excellent in career, that is what is also waiting for you in the wings, in this new vibration. This Queen of Pentacles is very, very, very stable, right? This Queen of Pentacles is someone who is very grounded. So if you feel like your energy right now has not been very grounded, that could be what's keeping you from alignment. The sun is an awakening, right? The sun is the truth. So there has been maybe something that's come to light recently. Some of you may have recently discovered something, but also it can be this new love. You, 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 someone, it's someone brand new too. See, new love, Ace of Cups. I think I'm in love again. Hmm. It come when it come, honey. The Ace of Cups is what you don't see coming. It's, it's gonna knock you off your feet too. It, it has this sense of, I can't believe that just happened. Like it, it happens so spontaneously for some of you. You're talking like you guys literally just go out to the grocery store and you run in real quick to go get fucking bread or your white claws or whatever the fuck you guys be getting. And, and like, there they are. And it's just this extremely, wow, you can't make it up. It came out in reverse because now there's no block. When you line up with this, it's because you're on the right vibration and there's no block. Because seven of wands upright is fighting it, blocking it. 
it's like there's no block there because there's no where where is it when is it coming it comes quickly and swiftly when you least expect it and that's a really really important it's just so important that like the more you look for it and the more you wait for it it don't come Eight of Wands, excuse me, Eight of Cups, King of Wands, Kang, Dangalang. See, someone who's real confident. This is someone who's a leader. This would be someone who has an extremely alpha kind of an energy. And it really happens when someone leaves and walks away from something. It could be a relationship, but it could also be like someone sitting here waiting for it to happen, waiting for it to happen. And then they say, fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my thing. And when they leave and go do their thing, look at what's meeting them. A new Dangalang. <laughs> It's so quick. You and you're I'm telling you, it's two of cups. I tell you, it's so quick. And it's just like, I cannot believe that just happened. Like, like that kind of like you're reeling from it. Sorry, my TMJ has been super bad. I feel like every time Mercury goes retro, my TMJ gets real bad. The Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a card of. Well, it's an offer that comes out of left field. It's also possibly moving in career change for some of you. Some of you, it's this gift that comes out of, of, of it, it, it appears out of sheer thin air, but it doesn't appear out of sheer thin air. You, you align with it. This could be engagement in, in the future. Obviously, you're not going to be engaged to the first person you meet unless you're on married at first sight. Knight of Swords. It's just all about this abruptness. It just, it comes in like the wind. It's just, whoa, it just, it just happens. And it feels like it may be during a time when you don't expect it. So like literally you're out at the grocery store, you ran into, you got to change your tires. So you're sitting over there at the car place, you know, you, it's, it's, a, you have to post office or something. It has that feeling of it's not in the kind of environment that you would typically think you're gonna meet a person. So it's not like at a bar or whatever. It doesn't feel like that. And if it is at a bar or restaurant, it's when you when you were like, no, oh, I really don't wanna go. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. And then you go there and you go, oh my God. See like that? It's like you don't expect it. And it's very soon too, Queen of Swords. There we go. Queen of Swords says, thou shall not go there. Queen of Swords can be very hasty, very emotionally detached. Queen of Swords is very like, the fuck you want? Could be air. Some of you have air in your chart. But she's very like, fuck out of my face. Six of Cups and the Three of Wands. So it's, some of you it is, and it could be traveling. You're traveling, you meet them. But the Six of Cups is soulmate, past life soulmate. So it's a, it's a connection that you feel like, yo, I just met this motherfucker, but I also feel like I know this motherfucker. It has that vibe. The stranger you recognize. You guys might be standing there waiting too. I don't know if it's waiting in line. Maybe you at the airport, honey. I don't know. It has a feeling of waiting. Why do you feel like you're in the waiting room? King of Cups. Two of Wands. This King of Cups energy here is... It's like they fall in love at first sight. I know, cheesy as fuck, but it's what it is. I feel it. They fall in love at first sight. They're going, whoa. It was like, it was like they may not tell you that immediately, right? But like later you're gonna maybe talk to them about it and shit, and they'll be all like, Yeah, you know, I was smitten the first time I saw you, and you're all what? Endings, coffin. Something has to end first though. Unexpected income. See, there's this new money coming in. You see how both cards look like that? that you are receiving some kind of gift or some kind of pentacle. Poverty, some of you are really, really needing this that's coming in as far as financial expectation you've been waiting. See how she's sitting there waiting? Didn't I literally just say that with the Eight of Cups? It was like someone stopped waiting and you kind of just walked away because this is the energy that it was and it has this vibration of sitting there waiting of like lack. It's, it's not there, so it's a lack of it. And the energy of it is just, that's not a vibrational match because you're just gonna obviously attract in more lack, more of nothing. 
I mean, that's pretty incredible energy for you guys. And I'm really excited because I know a lot of people have been saying like, oh my God, what the fuck? When's it going to come? Well, it come when you're not looking for it, first of all. And as you can see in these cards, honey, it screams. Wow. It doesn't whisper it. It's screaming. It's coming. And I think it's the idea of that, right? Like that it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and then it doesn't come. It's about releasing the idea of when, or of how, or of who. Oh, the bouquet and the locket. Oh my God, this is love. This is love. The bouquet is also a gift, right? But it's like romance, and it's like someone wanting to like wine you and dine you. And then the locket is beautiful because it's like about cherishing and it's like, it's, it's happiness and it's bliss. And it's like all of this energy, this person wines you and dines you. They may literally sweep you off your feet. Uh, obviously when you guys start dating, they sweep you off your feet, meaning that they give you stuff and they, they, they court you and they buy you flowers. And you're like, Whoa, nobody ever bought me flowers just for a Tuesday. And, and like they buy you coffee or like they buy you books or whatever, you know, and it's, it's, it has this vibration of courting. It's not just like, Hey, you want to go to the movies and then go and slam after it's sort of like, it's like a build up to it as well. So for those of you that are, that this is going to resonate for, you're going to notice, right? It's sort of, it's different. It's like a courting. It's almost like, um, they, they, they treat you like, and you're thinking, is there a catch? Are you a serial killer? Are you a fucking weirdo? Are you a stalker? Like, why are you treating me so kindly? This is weird. But what's weird is that it's not that it's really weird. It's that you weren't expecting it. Period. Let's get into your extended. Again, click on the link below in the description box. You can find it there. This is your Be Mine Valentine reading. So it would be in the Zodiac Extendeds. And remember, we are going to be using the Sexual Tarot Magic deck cards in your reading, okay? And also follow me on Patreon. That's where all of the other erotic tarot readings are. And thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And I'll see you later. Pisces and Pisces Crosswatchers. Love you.